Hey everybody, what's up? Here to do a quick video, uh, just a quick tip on how to prep bearings for racing. This is specifically for mini four wheel drive, but really you can use this for any bearing, skateboard bearings, wherever you find them, okay? Um, so when you get bearings, usually they have grease in them, like packing grease, which for small bearings isn't great. Um, just like we did with uh, motors, we want to get rid of that grease, and then we want to apply a new lubricant. Okay, and that's going to make these bearings as fast as possible. Um, so there's a few things you can use. I have a few of them here. So rods and all. Okay, so this is lighter fuel. Um, I see a lot of videos of people using this. This does work good. Okay, um, now rods and all, a lot of people don't realize it's actually just naphtha with a few extra oils added to it. Um, and naphtha is a lot cheaper. Now, unfortunately, I don't have naphtha in the stack here. Um, but uh, I, I just couldn't get any for this video, but I'm not going to use it today anyway. We have isopropyl alcohol. Okay, this is 91% rubbing alcohol. You can get this super, super cheap uh, at Walmart, drugstore, wherever you go, right? This works really, really good. This is the least caustic, easiest to, to work with. You can use denatured alcohol. Now, denatured alcohol is more of a solvent. Um, this is actually amazing for cleaning glass because uh, it's a solvent. Now you can also use it as a clean burning fuel in like small fuel stoves and stuff like that. Um, this works awesome. And I'm actually going to use this today. I'll talk about why in a second. You can also use, again, I use this in a lot of my videos, uh, CRC quick drying contact cleaner. I don't know what's in this. It's, it acts almost like a solvent, but it's plastic safe. It's super cheap. It's amazing. Um, it, basically just eats through grease and anything like when you put in motors and leaves no residue. This is awesome. This is always a gold standard. I'm not going to use that today. Um, now another option is WD-40. People are probably like, yeah, you can't use WD-40. You can. Now, first thing, WD-40 is not an oil. It's for water displacement. Um, so usually you put water or WD-40 somewhere where you want to suck out rust or, or, you know, moisture, and then you should reapply oil afterwards. Um, but it actually acts really nice. Like if you put it in bearings, or sometimes I'll use it in engines and let it sit in there. Um, it gets rid of all the junk in there. Okay. Um, I used to do that with radio control car bearings, like all my old Tamiya cars. It works great. You let it soak. You got to leave it in there a lot longer, like a day. Okay. Um, now solvents, not as long. Now my main choice normally would be naphtha, not the Ronsonol, because it's more pure than the Ronsonol. Um, but what I'm going to use today is the denatured alcohol. And the reason being, I have this one little bearing here that came with my, uh, setting gear set. And I think it has plastic, uh, ball races or covers on it, but I'm not sure. Um, denatured alcohol, uh, is generally more plastic safe. So you should have no problems with this. If worse comes worse, I'll just go get another bearing because I can use, uh, one of the same bearings with the round hole bearings. It'll be fine. Um, but that's why I'm going to use this today and it works great anyway, it does smell. So maybe use it somewhere in ventilation. Uh, don't stick your nose right over it. Um, yeah, so all I'm going to do, I'm going to put my bearings in this little container. Now what you want to do, you want to let them sit for a few minutes. Then you want to agitate them for a few minutes. Then maybe let them sit for a few more minutes. The whole process should take like 10 minutes. Eye it up. You'll be able to tell when they get a lot faster because it's going to basically just dissolve all that grease and junk in there. Leave the bearing, bearing uh, bare, right? And then you're going to want to apply an oil for a few reasons. First off, that's going to get it spinning really fast. Second off, it's going to protect the metal, okay? Same thing, if you use WD-40, always oil after. Um, or it'll end up getting rusted because there's nothing on there, right? So what I'm using today, same thing I use on my motor bushing. It's Glidex High Speed Aerospace Synthetic Lubricant. I've said this in other videos. I'm 99% positive that this is just mobile, uh, mobile one synthetic. Okay, you can use this. Um, don't like grease your transmission with it uh, or, or oil your transmission with it in a car like this because sometimes uh, petroleum products can eat plastic. Um, ABS is interesting because if you look up charts, I have a whole listing of charts. It's kind of like, you know, hit or miss, they say, with uh, petroleum products like this. Um, same thing with naphtha, right? It can eat plastic, but I will say naphtha is usually safe with ABS. Um, and I could make an hours long video as to why that is. That's uh, pretty interesting. But I'm not going to. Mobile one is synthetic. Just going to put it on the bearings. Going to keep it off my transmission. It's going to be great. Once you're done, uh, yeah, just lube it up with this stuff and you're good to go.
Any questions, put them in the comments. Appreciate it. Uh, looking forward to seeing everyone at the races this coming week. See ya.